Hi, welcome to another edition of Luthier's Lair. This edition is part two of Iskur Revisited, where <coughs> I will be completing the Iskur base, Project Iskur, uh, affectionately known as Linda, uh, and it will be on its way to France very soon. Um, so in this video we're just going to finish off the build and then there'll be a part three, this is part two, the part three will be a little demo of the range of tone and stuff of the bass, how it works, what the controls are, stuff like that. Okay, so let's get on with it. Let's finish this puppy off. So here we are, Project Ishkul, Linda bass, Linda, and look at that. Look at that. Oh, I kept the dimples. I kept the dimples in the grain of the wood because myself and my client, uh, I, I don't think I'll name him, or I don't think I'll mind. It's Laurent Quintin. Um, he wanted this to look a bit Linda ish, you know like Linda Blair, like Exorcist and stuff, and now it does, <laughs> I kept little dimples, I didn't entirely fill the grain, so when I put the clear coat on, you get the wood showing through really strongly, and I must say, I totally love it, I, I absolutely love it, the way it catches the light and stuff, it's, it's fantastic. Great idea. Anyway, so just assembled it again after refinishing. New neck, new. Uh, actually, this is uh, the uh, Falcon Series 2 style neck, but it's a different profile. Okay, different. So I just strung it up. Let's see what we get. Now, there is an LED battery uh, indicator here. I don't know if you see it. Let's go down about here. And let's uh, zoom in a little bit. Here. Yes, there you go. It's about here. Alright. I used to have a little rubber grommet around it, but I thought it was awful. It looks much better looking like part of the wood. So when you plug it in, I'll show you right now. It tells you the battery's okay. Watch. Okay. Looks good, right? Okay. Let's switch on the crap bass amp. It's a bit loud. It's good. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, let's say, uh, right, volume's up, bass is way up, middle is in the middle, right? And I've got bass and treble controls stacked here as well. So let's turn the bass up a bit and the treble up 90%. Okay? So back pickup. These are not new strings, by the way, these are old strings. That's good. Let's go pick up blend metal. So we've got and that and that. So. Yeah. Front pickup. Oh nice. Oh nice. What a grill. Now let's put on let's do the fretboard um illuminations, shall we? It's kind of like a dance. Let's do the fretboard illuminations again. No, it doesn't work. Does it? Okay. There you go. 
Well, it's a bit noisy. That's no, not bad. Yeah. As you can see I've got Laurent's initials on the first fret and then it's standard dot inlays from then on. <laughs> That's it, low, that's low mid boost, it's medium mid boost, whoa, extreme overdrive mode. assembled, Linda is assembled and alive, and I'll let you hear the electronics later, but I did a quick setup on it to discover where the high frets might be, and I found four of them, one here, 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 and here, and they're, they look to be seated absolutely correctly, so they just need filed down a bit and recrowned, so my handy dandy uh, Stumac white jumbo uh, fret file. As you can see, it's got this is for extra large frets, this one's for jumbos, and I'm using jumbo frets on this base, so this is what we'll do. Put it there, using painter's tape for protection there, and it also indicates where I'm filing. Very gently. Hardly any shavings coming off that, so I'm going to go a little more on it. Making sure to follow the radius of the fingerboard, which is 16 inches, and that's just more feel than anything else. You might be able to hear that it's, it's absolutely pouring down of rain here right now. It's typical Florida rain. Deluge. Right. So all I'm going to do in that one, and then of course you reuse this tape. One, two, three, four, actually six frets. So, but very slight buzzing. One choked and the rest were just buzzing slightly at the optimal neck relief and string height so we fix them and I'll go ahead and fix them string it back up and see what we get <coughs> well indeed yeah I got down to uh, very nearly done on the fret and manicure front what I do have though is still it's very, very slightly high, and this is at a low action. The uh, fifth fret, the 21st and the 20th on certain sides. So just going to go and sort them. Let's take this. This needs quite a bit off it still. Just a little bit. side of the strings, the A and the E string, let's take that, I'm going to go and just erase 
uh, Sharpie mark. I use a green Sharpie, of course, <laughs> for this base just to, you know, mark the frets that need to be worked on. This needs a, let's count, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 50 shoe goals on that one, and I think the same for this one. 50 shoe goals. Again, it's up the base side there, so just a. And from now on, it's going to be 50 shoe goals. So, one, two, three, six, ten, twenty. 30, 40, 50, and I'm just going to lightly go over that to tidy it up, very lightly. Okay, I think we should be done here. I'm going to go string it up, first and the fifth. I'm going to go string it up now, see what we get, okay? Well, that was a bitty of a fret job, but you seem to be all working now, and uh, let's plug it in and have a listen. Okay, so before switching the amp on, I have a little battery indicator light there that you can hardly see, but when you plug it in, you should be able to see a flash of blue. I don't know if you can see it from there, but... You see that? Mm, maybe not, but never mind. So, crap bass amp is on. And let's see. These are working nice. Bit noise crossover there. Need to look at that. See these parallel works good. Check the pickups. Good. Yep. We're working. Try Z mode. Well, you had the overdrive one, it's great. <laughs> yep, we get sound. Now, of course, these are old strings that I've got on it. Let me just pan round a little bit. Here we go, ah, that's better. Older strings I've got on it because all this uh, freight work and testing. Once again, playing really nice. I'll polish up the frets with my, my uh, freight erasers here. Yes. And I'm going to supply some freight erasers for the eventual owner of this base, who is uh, Laurent Quintana, my great friend from France. And he's going to be the eventual owner of this base. By the way, this is a one-off base. I'm not building any more of these. It's one-off. So don't ask for one. This is specifically for Laurent and to his spec. So, that there, that's good, that's good. It's all set up still. So I'm going to have a little play at it. If it's satisfactory, I will let you hear it. Awesome. Hey, well that's about all the time we've got for this episode. Um, 
the Ishkur base is done and uh, later on I'm going to be um, posting a little demo video uh, just you know showing its range of tone and um, its versatility its looks and uh, you know stuff like that we'll play some different styles finger style slap maybe some tapping I don't know we'll see what happens but um, I'm glad you could join me uh, today for this episode and uh, this base will be off to France very soon so like I say hope you enjoyed it and as always stay safe be good and I'll catch you next time thanks folks bye bye folks thanks again for watching um, if you like what I do here and you find some value in what I do click the subscribe button below click the bell so you're notified anytime I make a new upload and if you're feeling generous uh, you can pay my PayPal me in the link below in the description section that would help me tremendously keep doing uh, what I'm doing and also producing this content for you once again many thanks I appreciate it bye bye